Good evening, welcome to it. I'm Thomas Malama. This is Sport at 10, the biggest sports show in South Africa. And we're looking forward to you sitting with us for the next uh, hour and engaging with some of the biggest names in South African sport. Uh, and let me introduce you to them. The guys on the bench are over there. But before we get to that, let me just talk to this man over here. Because Shampunaiza, yes, I was playing golf yesterday in Northwest Province out there, hot sun baking. Everyone always asks me. Hmm. They're always asking me, like, why I don't bring you along, why you're not there with yes. me for the... And I always tell yes. them that I hit straight, so I don't actually need someone to look for the balls out in the, in, in the yes. trees and stuff. Yeah, you so, need to you know. also add that I can't afford the golf clubs and everything. Oh. So it's all about money. So if you can ewell at me as a country, I will come with Thomas. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So that, that's the reason why I'm not with you. But, you know, I'm busy, like, saving my voice and all the strength so I can be, like, the best news reader ever, right, here on Sport at 10. I don't know why I gave him an opportunity to speak. He'll be there for the rest of the show. <laughs> Chuck Bonizer is there. Now, let me introduce you to our panel. Starting out with Russell Adams, uh, CSA Head of Events. Russell, I see you're wearing your Mzansi Super League shirt, and it is coming. Absolutely. Aren't you excited? I'm so excited. Because I certainly am, and I'm hoping the public are too. And... One of the members of my team in the Mzansi Super League is Ryan Rackleton. Ryan, Josie Stars. Yeah, what a team to play for. Looking forward to, uh, looking forward to it again. New guys coming in, um, obviously defending champions, so we're we'll buzzing to get going in a, in a couple of weeks' time. Yes, you are. The defending mm. champions can't wait to have that conversation. And then, arguably, maybe not even arguably, one of the greatest Kaiser Chiefs teams of all time was that team back in 1991. Lots of Chiefs supporters right now are talking about this team as being a team that can go on to do the business. But in 1991, this man, Fanny Madida, scored 28 goals in the league, 34 goals in all competitions for Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, the greatest of them all when it comes to goal scoring in a league season for Kaiser Chiefs, Fanny Madida. How are you? I am fine, Thomas. Good hey. evening. As a result, I, I can't see. That's why I'm wearing glasses. Yeah, but uh, back in the back in the day, back in the day, you didn't need those glasses. Back in the day, you were banging them away. Was your Kaiser Chiefs team that 1991, 92, 93-ish team? Was that the greatest Kaiser Chiefs team of all time? Probably amongst the three that were greatest, because the '86, 1986 one was uh -huh. the greatest, with Asin Swelling or Shaka Ngobo, Tinez Zaza. Uh. Uh, Wagga Wagga. But your one also had so many. I mean, if I had to shine about the players that were in your team. Of course, it, it was great with uh, Shane McGregor, Scaratin, uh, we had Chipa Mlade, the Trevor Tim Cool, Dr. Kumalo, Ace Kuz, uh, Neil Tovey. Neil Tovey, Howard Freeze. Ah! William Shong. Uh, hey! Tulani yeah. is next to that. Tulani, you, you're even going, hey, hey, your eyes are getting bigger and bigger. Are you a Kosi fan? Obvious. So, Manja, obvious. why are you so amazed? There he is. Tulani where you know him from East Digo. We'll talk to him about his sporting knowledge. And then at the very far post, I've got Koto uh, and Karabo, who are the champions when it comes to volleyball, ne? Yes. yes. Yeah? The yeah. Yeah. University of Technology are the club champions of volleyball. And varsity level too. And varsity. So yeah. you study? Do you just play volleyball or does that all you do? We no. are students. Students. Also. Oh, yeah. students yeah. first, volleyball players second. Yeah. Yes. We're yes. going to inquire. Ah. We're going to check. We're going to check. So, that's the team. Everybody, we've got a couple of new stories to get through. But before we get to that, let me introduce this to you. This is the uh, Sport of 10 Bell of Truth. At some point, any time in the show, I'll be inspired to ask a question that requires the absolute truth. I'll then... And when you hear that, the truth has to come out. The bell of truth will be getting that truth out of you. Are we clear? Right. You cannot lie when the bell of truth is right. Sure. Sinan, thank you very much. So, speaking of which, let's... Let... The bell of truth time. <laughs> Already. Right from the beginning. So, like cricket, man, let's start there. The Proteas. Can they beat India in the next test, in the next test match? What do you think? Here we go. so quiet. I think that the cricket guys should go first. Oh no, you're thousand. dodging the ball of truth. You can't <laughs> dodge. <laughs> oh, okay. So you guys are all, you guys are all deflecting and moving. Okay, okay, okay. I see what they're doing. Ryan, they're leaving it to you. 
Well, what do you think? To me. Uh, look, it's been a tough tour for the guys. Um, it is a bit of a transition phase looking at the players that are involved and the players that have obviously retired recently. Um, going into the third test, I feel like the guys have nothing to lose. You can't fault the efforts. I know everyone's working hard. You can see it. Um, assuming there might be a couple changes, uh, which, which we'll find on the next uh. couple of days. But, I mean, if, if cricket's a funny game, it can go your way today and it can be, uh, very, it can be very against you tomorrow. So. Because the reason I brought this question up, Shampoo is mm -hmm. that the Proteas right now are on the worst test run in 13 years. Lost yeah. The last four test matches... I mean, you'll remember in February it was the loss in that series against Sri Lanka at home, and now against India it's 2 0 already. Their series is over. We're playing for pride over the weekend. Yeah, all we need is, uh, I think they need to get some speed. That's, uh, that's from me to them. Like, I'll pay them, Banaba Because when's the last time we saw this, Thomas? <laughs> this from our protest. Oh, but you know what? Oh, it's like the four lady. Yeah, about the lady six and everything. Lady. But you know what? I mean, yeah, we want those things. We're not we seeing these signals. Oh, um, now, now, who we But you know, if we, have, if we were patient with Bafana Bafana who are winning, so we can be patient with them. But hey, you guys, you guys did not. Like, about quite a so. Uh. So we can't just. But I mean, good luck for the future. Let's hear what the captain had to say. Because obviously, there's a little bit of conflict. Like, you know, a bit of a crisis, right? But when the captain speaks, we listen. That's what he had to say about the current series and the form that the Proteus are in. You know, you don't mind losing um, to a team that's better than you. Um, but I thought this test match, um, we weren't even close where we needed to be to try and compete. Um, in the first test match, at least there were signs of that. And as I said, um, you know, with the team that's in its infant stages of, 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 of rebuilding, you, you have to be patient with it, but also when it comes to performance like that, you do expect better because the standards of the team requires you to be a little bit better. Um, so we let ourselves down, uh, and it's disappointing going down the way that we did. There you go. Applause. The captain is giving us inspiration. Come, 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 come. Thank you, captain. Thank you, skipper. Thank you. What? Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> that should the, be the... Yeah, we don't the, clap. We just we don't do clap. the... We just do the... <laughs> <laughs> should know that it's a, it's a six. So. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all we can do. That's like, the single yeah, we want to see they, happening they a lot. Know. Okay, so moving on. Yes. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, but, but we can't start with Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's just, you know, we need to actually... We were talking about Fanny Madida being the, the best, the, like the most decorated goal star, scorer. Joe Masono scored almost all the goals possible and everything. So I think when we are saying congratulations and we are talking about this guy, we should know that Fanny, you are first, ne? For, for Runa. Yeah, that's in, in community of property. But we are talking about <laughs> Cristiano. <laughs> Can I ask you this yeah. question? Funny, do you know how many goals you scored in total? In like, if it was for the national team or club football, in total? Do you have a number for total, total number of goals? No, 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 I no, don't but know. Yes, then. Yeah. Because yeah. I need to add uh, the friendly games. I need to add the uh, training strategy. games. No, no, no. I just want those official ones. Not the no, 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 one pal and what, what, no. Just official. If you had to have a number, is it more than 100? Is it, uh, you know, 200, 500? What do you okay, think? Okay, 120. Plus, minus. Yeah. 120. Oh, okay. yeah. Football yeah. career there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was illustrious. Yes. Played in Turkey, South Africa, yeah. done the business. Yes, there are so, strikers, yeah. There are strikers who, who actually even retired by under 20. But now, we are talking <laughs> about, you know, we, we are moving overseas and we're talking about this guy who's like the most decorated player alongside Messi. We're talking about Ronaldo, yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo, who has got 700 goals, guys. 700 <laughs> goals, and they, not, they didn't come just from one team, but the, in his whole career. So on right? Monday yes. against Ukraine, penalty yes. took yes. him to goal number 700 in his professional career, yes. national team, club sides. Five for so Sporting Lisbon, 118 for during the English Premiership with Man Manchester United. Uh -huh. He scored like 450 for Real Madrid and already got Juventus. I've joined in the last week. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's on he's 700. On, he's on 32 goals. He's on 32 goals for Juventus already. 700 Ganjai. goals. Finding Ganjai. In total. How does he get there so quick? Well, he enjoys play, uh, scoring goals, this guy. So he's, he's a natural goal scorer. But 700? But he, work, he works hard. 700? Yeah. Yeah, I get about pass enough. It's dedication. I'm a bum rat, but they'll defend the house. They will always pass you, pass you, pass you. And then, Thomas, what's interesting is that even with 700 goals, when we when we look at all the goal scorers in the world, Ronaldo comes as number six on the list on the list of people who have scored like the most goals in the world. And on 805 goals is a guy, the Czech Austrian guy called Joseph Bikan. 
who uh, scored 805 goals. As so, as. Yeah, Lena, I don't think he knows himself, as but as. the number, <laughs> the number stands here. Nobody knows Bika. <laughs> no, I don't care what anybody yeah, says. But I after don't know him. Comes, him. Might have scored a lot of goals. Yeah. Okay, number, number two. Number, number two, we should know him. You know you are my age if you know who Romario is. Yes. Romario. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no doubt. Romario. Yeah. No, number three. Pele. Mm. Who's yeah, the great? No, and then, and then this one, this one, we see Luna Thomas Levofani Madida who have done research, rest them Puskas. Kimam yeah, Puskas. Puskas. But yeah, Puskas, Puskas. <laughs> now we really then there's Muller and then there's Cristiano right. Ronaldo. So yeah. it's a very big thing to do 700. It's just like me. I have over 2,000 jokes. Oh. Mm. <laughs> 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 so uh, I, think, I think with that being said, Thomas, we okay. need to move on. Because, so let's yeah. move on to, yeah. I think, and we were, just, we were talking about this, the recent AFCON, right? Remember, Bafana Bafana beat Egypt, right? Mm -hmm. We were all amazed. It was brilliant. Like, wow. But now things are coming out that maybe we understand why <laughs> Egypt may not have been on the kind of form that we expected. Let's just look at this very quickly. We've got something for you to show you here. And I want to hear from you guys if you recognize this person. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm All right, so can you tell me who this is, guys? Mm. Mm. It's not him. Mossad. Who's this? Now, I asked you not to comment. Oh, so the right. one who's commenting is uh, getting a yellow card. Okay. <laughs> so I heard you all saying Mo Salah, right? Yeah. But that's not Mo Salah. No, yeah. It's not. Apparent. That's not Mo Salah. That is a guy called Ahmed Baha. Ahmed Baha, who actually has been standing in for Mo Salah when he's doing, uh, he's doing adverts. So he's a look-alike. Exactly, oh. like from Kong Yamut. If I can have a small strip any time. So, so he's been, maybe he was the one He was the playing. one. But right, you're going to be disqualified. You're going to be disqualified. I'm going to in your foot. Apparently Mo does like, doesn't do like these ads. Like he doesn't want to spend a lot of time doing ads and stuff. Like it takes days to shoot. So he does like the wide shots running there in the corner what yeah. what sliding what 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 then Mo just comes and says yeah. drink this drink and then leaves and yeah. then all the other shots are this guy but <laughs> you should know because actors has, has like body doubles like yeah, like stuntmen and everything i didn't expect it for from Mo Salah anyways but i have a feeling that some of the weeks thomas is not himself <laughs> 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 Thomas is not himself. You'll never know who Look, I've been with. Just for proof, so that you know that we're not lying. Let's just proof. There they are. Oh, yes. Now you can wow. see the difference. Yeah. The yeah. one, yeah, which one? The one on the left. Uh, Russell, you, Russell, there's a bit of a similarity there. Yeah, yeah. thanks very much. Yeah. Like, you could possibly also, like, grow a little bit of a beard. Yeah, Let's just zoom in on Russell very quickly. Let's just go straight to <laughs> Russell there and uh, just check him out because. Russell, there, there, there may be a job for you. There may be a, there may be a job for you. Eh? There may be a job for you, Russell, if, if the lookalike guy is injured. Yeah. <laughs> then, <laughs> <laughs> then you could be that guy. Maratoni boni ne ipumula ne auti ne tuza no musa. Le asel fili anat ba itate before he came. Maba umusa la delanga na um umu ya da auti ne tete. Yeah, no. This is this is you know. And then the last yeah, matita wana the problem ya visa. There you need someone like that. So the last news is about the world number one, the ch the world champion actually for Formula One. Yeah. We're talking about. Uh, Lewis Hamilton, who's actually, you know, we know him from, for speed and everything, but mm. right now he's suddenly not feeling the world. He's saying the world is a mess. Mm. And he feels like he wants to, he feels like giving up on everything and shut down completely. Why? Because he thinks the world is just not, just not what it is. The world is a mess. So, in a way, I, can, I don't know if I can safely say he's being depressed or he's just no, being low. You no, know you know what he's saying? Yeah. He's saying, I looked at his Instagram yeah. and he said to... First of all, who knows what a vegan is? A Can anyone give a definition of vegan? A vegan. Yeah, yeah. And then they don't, not just any like meat, anything to do with animals. Yeah. Yeah. If, it had, a, if yeah. it had a face, you don't eat it. Yes. Right? So he's a vegan. Yeah. And he's now, this was his actual statement on Instagram. Go vegan. It's the only way to save the planet. And he said he's so sad at the thought of where the world is going. Yeah. So he wants us all to not eat meat. Volleyball mm. players? Littering. Number eight, Lewis Hamilton, six yeah. times mm. Formula One world champion, asking us yeah. to save the planet. And let's go vegan. vegan, let's not eat yeah. meat, let's not eat mm. anything that came from an animal, grass, the things, and then we're okay. But Musi mm. wasn't born vegan, Musi. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Can you? Can you so he it? comes, he finishes the cows and everything, and then after that he complains. But Thomas, I think you know, you know. Also, what's at risk if we all go vegan? We're gonna lose a public holiday. When you first September back a bright day. <laughs> Yeah. But you know what he's saying, the world is a mess. All I'm saying is that I lose family time. Let's hope you, you know, it's, it's okay to be vegan and everything, but cheer up. The world is getting there. Would anyone go vegan here? Anyone willing Never. to follow? Not any time soon. Ah, yeah, 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 me. Yeah, Nobody me. willing to follow? That's me, I would follow. No, yeah. I'm all for healthy eating, eh? But healthy? Yeah, all for healthy eating, oh, but yes. uh, <laughs> everybody <laughs> to their own. Now. But but I think he should be suggesting that we eat more of meat and save plants. Because last time I checked, we need those plants for oxygen. So not just that. It's not that. She's from Botswana. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are like specialists in beef production. So, <laughs> so, so we, we, we're not taking you. No, no, no. Let's, let, me, let me introduce him to you now. Because overseas. it's his time. He's done the news reading job. It's time for South Africa's one and only sports comedian to go up there and do his oh, thing. Sorry. He gives us the uppercuts and the jabs. The heavyweight of humor, the shampoo nizer. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I didn't even pay them anything. Right. Yeah. It comes natural, you know. Before before I even go into jokes and everything, I like to wish a happy birthday to Ntate Keza Mutaung, the original Keza Mutaung, not the not. Kaiser Junior, like the manufacturer, the one I'm already saying. So, no, uh, happy, uh. happy birthday. Uh, you have done a lot. But I feel very disrespectful when I call him Chincha Guluv. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I mean, Ginta, there was 75 years and I say happy birthday, Chincha Guluv. Just think about it, maybe when Jabu Bule turns 80 and we are there, happy birthday, that day, Jabu, one hour yes. 20. <laughs> that, that thing is, it's, it's a little bit otherwise, man. So, I, 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 because it's a, it's a birthday message, I just said uh, happy birthday to Ndata Keza Mdaung and Keza Chiefs. And then, uh, Baroka, please don't be stingy, guys. Just, just maybe tweet and fail at least if we can all know birthday Akuluko. Not even one person has ever wished him a happy birthday. Let guy be a newspaper and I wanna go patting a idea apology. Go to see one Kuluko Tovejani. That didn't match or something. We just saying. I'm just putting it out there. Who reta bona gale na chincha kuluva wana watu nyasa. So, Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah, Sergei do medisa Kaiser Chiefs officially. Lega Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah, I want to medisa lega. Lega Kaiser Chiefs. Give me, give me. What do you want? What do you want? And then. On the other hand, they're going to shift. We're going to have to buy United. Chipa. Sorry, sorry, my fancy Moritari. You'll you'll never know, Thomas. I've never known. I've scribbled things so that I don't waste that. But chips, mana. Ngile la wana koka si, but kazwa met. But lina kapet. By henga mubati ya diko. Taba li five. Ki chips ibe ta sundown. No. Bona eba mana baba trabil. Ena si sundown si pele. Sundown si FET. Like give a mamba to my mother. Sundowns, FET College. Yeah, man. What do you want to give a mother? Like, you're going to give a mother. Like, even like a woman, like a woman at least, you have to play against the mother. But, how woman, I'm going to give a mother. Give a mother, you're going to give a mother. Give a mother, you're going to give a mother. I know, but it's not the Sundowns, which have Kesa Chiefs has a trophy. Officially, funny, Kesa Chiefs has a trophy. I'm going to have a trophy coming at that Chiefs. Next day, we're going to have a bookcase. We're going to have a bookcase. We're going to have a bookcase. What they come with, he said, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. So I'm not going to waste time, Thomas. Uh, I have a picture here. I don't know. The whole country, not even one person was brave enough to talk about this picture. Just look at this. So, little country, so, Allah, check out. Like, I don't want to see losses, possible, as keepers. That's our funner coach. Get you on a marhembish. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's got an Africa on the shirt. What's this is the this is my best coach ever, fan of a fan. The only coach who managed to give them allergies. I've been no allergy cook, right? Back or a bash up a fella, but I got a boy who was a guy in Behu. Okay, we're back. Yeah, this is uh, now I guess Thomas, I get to Alice, I believe, but him, I feel like the reason why they won, Mulifinzigi was coaching Gaskatami. Hi, Dolly. Tata le bola we ne gumure. Tata le bola we ne gumure. Tata tata le bola. Tata tata le bola. Hi. That's the Champanizer. He'll be back throughout the duration of the show. We're going to a quick break, but before we go to that break, this is what we want you to talk about. This is a little bit interesting because there was a story during the week where Bacchus at Kaiser Chiefs wanted the number 15 jersey. 
And then, well, it's been retired, so Doc Kumalo is the number 15. Then, so we thought, let's just discuss this. Like in the last decade, whose jersey needs to be retired? Like whose jersey would you retire in the last decade of South African football? As fans at home, who do you think deserves that honor? Which club should give the honor of saying, no, you cannot play in that jersey because we have such a great player in the jersey and it can never be touched again. Tell us what you think after the break. Mzansi Super League. We'll talk about that cricket. We'll talk about when it starts, how you can be there. There's been some jam-packed, sold-out games last year. SABC3 brought it live to you, and we're doing it again. This is exciting. Stay with us. Oh, my goodness. You, you're from that... How's it, man? Yeah, man, that NetBank movie secret. <laughs> Yo, that thing was intense. You know, Nami, I have this money secret. I spend, spend, spend just to get points. And luckily, that's not how new greenbacks work, bro. Greenbacks? It's rewards, Moss. Ah, Zafana, listen to my brother. Same WhatsApp group. No, the new Greenbacks is a money management program. Yeah. It helps you to manage your money better and rewards you on top of that. So it's a money management program that just happens to reward you. Exactly. That's different. Money, money. Money, money. There are many reasons why people don't budget. Like Zetu from Soweto. She thinks she can't afford it. If she just got budget insurance, she could insure her Hyundai i10 for five forty-five a month. But she doesn't budget. What? Oh no. Oh, just five forty-five a month, Zetu. Bet you're thinking about that now while you're climbing over your handbrake, ne? Nah. But it could cost more because you think you can't budget. Oh, look out, Zetu! That cost is hitting you now! What? But it could cost more. Hey! Much more than a door. Uh oh, there goes your baby. Hey! Hey! You thought you couldn't budget, Zetu. But now, where to, Zetu? Where to now? Just get budget and insure your car for five forty-five per month, Z22. With one of SA's lowest insurance quotes, you can budget. SMS budget to four zero three six nine. But wait, Z2, there's more. Do you know budget does cashback too? Cashback? That's right. Imagine your day went differently because you chose to get car insurance with budget. Hey, watch out, Z2! That was close, but luckily still far. Keep it up and you'll get 15% of your premiums back in just two years. You! Someone is looking out for you, eh, Zets? Like budget, they'll pay you another 10% of your premiums back after two more years. And 10% of your premiums back every year after that. Ooh, that's going to hurt, but it won't hurt your budget, because you'll still get your cash back. Now, how does that sound? With one of SA's lowest insurance quotes, you can budget. SMS budget to 40369 and get budget insurance. New Shield Even Tone Deodorant contains vitamin B3 to reduce dark underarm marks in seven days with 48 hour odor protection. Our cricket fans, this conversation is for you. The Mzansi Super League is about to begin. I've got two men here who will be talking about that from Cricket South Africa. Russell Adams, the Cricket South Africa head of events. And then Ryan Rackleton, Josie Stars batsman at the far post. Guys, let's talk about the Mzansi Super League. Tickets went on sale today? Last Monday. Last week, Monday. Yeah. So, what? let's talk about the tickets being on sale. How much? Has there been an increase? It was such a big success last year. Absolutely no increase. You know, we want to look after our public out there. We want to make sure that they can come into the stadiums uh, in their numbers. So our ticket sales are actually very affordable. They start at 60 Rand. And uh, we've even gone uh, a lot better this year by saying that any scholar or, or pensioner would actually be only half price. So 60 bucks gets you into the game. And if you're a youth or you're studying, or like, like there, like the volleyball. <laughs> 
like they're studying, right? Just the person. So just bring student card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You go and yeah. watch the cricket. Enjoy yeah. yourselves. Yeah. Four Super hours of entertainment, of it's sportainment. Unbelievable I mean, entertainment. What more do you want? And you know, for that kind of value. When I talk to Ryan here, Ryan, how did you do last year in the Mzansi Super League? Uh, I started off quite nicely, actually. I think I, I think I ended off about fifth or sixth on the run scores. Um, uh-huh. I had a I had a good tournament by my standards. Could have been better, but yeah, I was quite happy with and the first edition. You know, you're one of the guys in my team because <coughs> I'm from Josie, so I support the Josie Stars, mm-hmm. defending champions. I'm expecting the same <coughs> again this time around. I'm also expecting the same this time oh, yeah, around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We got a, we got a good team. Obviously, some guys have left, but we also got a lot of quality players who have come in. Um, guys like Timber and Dan Christian and Chris Gale, obviously the big boys that are, are back in the side. Yeah. And uh, I know they're all raring to go, much like myself and everyone else. So it's going to be a good tournament. When does it all start, start Russell? On the 8th <coughs> of November. So, again, six teams, 32 games over a period of five weeks. Starts on the 8th of November with... Last year's finalists, the champions, Josie Stars, up against the Cape Town Blitz. Mm. And, uh, I mean, I think that's going to set up the tournament beautifully. And I guess I have to throw this in, right? (laughs) SABC3 is the home of the Mzansi Super League. (coughs) How did it do last year, having it on the national broadcaster, homegrown cricket, exciting T20 cricket? I I heard so much about it on the streets, but from Cricket South Africa's perspective, what was it like? Ah, what a phenomenon. I mean, it really... It reached over 10 million people, um, which was a, a fantastic effort in the inaugural season. Mm. Uh, we had over 120,000 people come through the gates at the stadium. Um, the cricket was of a quality that I think uh, Ryan will agree was just second to none. Really special. In fact, after that tournament, so many cricketers around the world uh. were saying, hang on a second, we need to be part of this. Mm. Um, so we really set up beautifully after last year for come the 8th of November this year. As for, someone who played? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, from, from uh, obviously outside, of the, the standard was very high. The overseas players had a lot to me. had very good overseas players. And looking at it this year now, I think a lot of people said, yeah, I want to play cricket in South Africa. And um, the quality of the players have gone up. And I'm pretty sure this year's tournament's going to be even more difficult, more challenging than last year. Russell, let's just show off. I mean, yes, I know. I've got uh, um, great players. One of them sitting right here with us in the studio. But... Who else? Who else can fans look forward to seeing some big name cricketers maybe from around the world, Protea side, that will be participating this year? Well, you've got your uh, Protea marquee players, the likes of Quinton and uh, Andile Pekukwaya, and uh, you've got uh, the captain, Fafti of the Seaback, mm. and A.B. De Villiers, I mean, don't forget. At know. the Spartans. At the Spartans, correct. KG, so, Timber, you know, everyone. There's so many. with the Jersey there's Stars. Huge, there are huge num- names out there. Yeah. You know? uh, international players, uh, World Cup winning players, the likes of Jason Roy. Mm. You know, so there are um, a real big interest from the absolute best cricketers around the world. But then let's not forget those unknown names that came out. I mean, I'm thinking... Quite now, quite clearly, of uh, Pongoro uh, uh, down in uh, the Jersey Stars. I mean, what a story, you know, for somebody who wasn't even in the picked initially and then was going to be sitting in your position, yeah. commentating on games, etc., yeah. to, to end up playing uh, in front of thousands and making a name for himself, taking all those wickets and hitting big sixes on the last ball of, of, so, of innings. Ryan, Mzansi Super League, is that how the players are seeing it? As an opportunity? Yeah, it is. It's definitely an opportunity. It's an opportunity to showcase what you got. Um, and it's an opportunity to branch your game outside the world, uh, outside of Afri- South Africa. Sorry, You do well here. Uh, people recognize you like people come to South Africa. Mm. South Africans also want to play abroad as well. And it's an opportunity for us to really show the world what we got. Where do I get the tickets? I'm already excited. <laughs> people at home want to be there. How do they get them? Ticket Pro, our agency, so all their retail outlets around the country as well as any other retail outlet linked to them. Uh, they can go to the stadiums. Uh, the ticket officers are equipped to, to hand over those tickets, those affordable, uh-huh. very <laughs> low price tickets. Um, so, yeah, it's available, as I said, from last week already. And uh, we've, we're running out of days here, so I'm warning the public, get in early, especially yeah. for this opening game uh, in Johannesburg on the 8th of uh, November. It's going to be a humdinger. At the Wanderers, 8 November, be there. We're Josie Stars, right? That's, that's who we are. No, Champagne. I'm, I'm from Swan. I'm from Pretoria. <laughs> what does it, is there like an opening? What does it take for me to be that guy who does this? <laughs> the umpire. Yeah, umpire. You can't yeah, be him. But, but I've difficult. never seen them play yeah, or anything. There's always you know, wine there. From, yeah. from here to, to the field. So <laughs> just, I'm just saying, job, <laughs> op- job opportunity. Thank you. <laughs> 20 what? 20 what? Spartans. Spartans. I'm 20 mm. Spartans. Well, Jersey Spartans, be careful. 
That's why I leave you right there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> right there. So, Mzansi Super League, make sure you're there. Get your tickets. They start at 60 Rand. Get onto Ticket Pro. And remember, it's a great game to kick things off with the, the Josie Stars uh, up against uh, the Cape Town Blitz. That was the final last year. And it's kicking it off. Ah, oh, can't wait for it. Thanks, guys, for telling our viewers. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having me. And we're going to a break after the break. Champs, that trophy there. Yes. That our baby here. Yeah. Champuneza calls it Thomas. It's a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do you know? Do you know that before? Like, just so that you think about this, they are the champs locally. But does South Africa have a national volleyball team, like SA Protea? What do we have? We have Don't the national know. anthem. Do we have uh, one? I will leave it. Do we have? Uh, uh, <laughs> the last time I said something concerning that, I was told to keep quiet. So, so what's I'm the just... answer? Do we have one? Uh, no. You. We're coming to find out why after I was this. Warned. <laughs> hey. I took a walk. On my own path, I challenged the world. That fire inside me said, go on in, live a lot. Less talk, more walk. I took a walk. Keep walking. Not for persons under the age of 18. Parenting is not easy. Some days, you've got to be tough mom. Other days, gentle mom. But when it comes to fever, you need to be both. Cowpole starts to work on fever in 15 minutes and is gentle on the tummy. Cowpole, tough on fever, gentle on your child. It's time for October Mega Deals. Get 40 gigs of data for $199 per month on a 24-month MyMTN Choice 5 gig SIM-only plan. Or get a massive 80 gigs for $299 per month on a 24-month MyMTN Choice 10 gig SIM-only plan. And you'll get 20 gigs of YouTube data and a bonus 20 gigs anytime data once off absolutely free on SA's best network. We got you. Hey! Sign up for Upgrade at an MTN store today. Everywhere you go, MTN. All right. Just one SMS can make a world of difference. As a responsible woman, one SMS is all it takes to secure you and your family's future. Go direct with One Life and save up to 22% on your life insurance premiums. A 27-year-old woman can get 1 million rand life cover for around 240 rand per month. SMS Life to 38925 now and let One Life take care of you and your family's future. One Life. Changing lives. Mom is ready to meet me. Home is now more safe and clean, more than it's ever been. She trained that, trained them all. She wants to be that so sure. She a tough lawyer one day. Get the toughest lawyers behind you and your family. Now the South African Club Volleyball Championships recently took place in Benoni and surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly for those of you who are fans of volleyball, the uh, team that walked away with most of the uh, silverware was the Baal University of Technology. The champs are here. And mm -hmm. I've got the male team, the captain, the women's team, the captain, Karabo Mulefi captains the uh, women's team, and Kuto Mamabolo captains the uh, men's Hello. team now. Uh, <laughs> I see, Kuto, you brought the trophy closer to you. Yeah. Because it's actually your trophy. Definitely, eh? It's not Karabo's, but it's mine. Uh oh. So, as captain of the men's team, the men's team walked away. The best club volleyball team in South, in South Africa. Africa. Yeah. How? 
Preparation, 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 preparation. Uh, That's all I can say. And then next door, Karabo, where did you finish? Second. Oh, runners up? Yes. Sham. <laughs> you say sham. It's not a bad You're thing. You're next to a champ there next I door. I know, and I'm happy for them, sham. Yeah. I'm very happy for them. But as a school and as a university, university. of technology, mm. why is your program so strong? Your volleyball program, for years, you guys have been devastating. Yeah, definitely. Um, both in varsity level and in, in club level. Okay, club level we only started dominating now. Uh, so in varsity level, it's only because we have uh, a buzzery system that's going on. So uh -huh. the school offers, uh, uh, what, uh, performing athletes, uh, I can say, uh, oh. buzzeries, and then they come in, and then they play sports and study at the same time, which is a great thing. And then from then best coaches, we bring them in, and then we start pushing, and then start winning medals. I mean... Le, le, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Let's have my international to play for you. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. the oh, young woman well. right next to there, Karabo <laughs> Mulefe. Which team do you captain other than Val University of Technology? Botswana national team. Uta Fela. <laughs> captain of the Botswana national yes, team. Yes, in the house. You are here? <laughs> yes. And you are part of the Val University of Technology for the team. the past four years, I've been studying in Val. Oh, okay, yeah, four years, of course. Yeah. Oh, 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 what am I going to get back? Okay, sorry. Okay. What did you say? There was a mistake. Okay, fine. I did my diploma three years. Yes. And then now I'm doing my degree. Okay, yes. well, after okay. there what? Does it make sense now? After hey. there what? Mr. Asi. Hello. Hey, it's free again. No, so open, up the open up the industry. Open up the industry. I want to do very quickly. Yeah. I, want to just prove, I just want to prove that I can also play volleyball. Okay. Oh, stand next to the stand up for the Oh, wow. Sorry. <laughs> Let's stand up next to the volleyball players. Okay. Yeah, Mar. Yeah. Let's put him straight in the middle. But, but more of a trophy level, let the height different. I can, <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can play volleyball, man. Oh, you can. Yeah. Maybe oh. there, you know, mm -hmm. the, that person who is not that tall. You're not a basketball player. And I'm still growing. Hello. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still growing. Four years later. Yeah. Okay. Did Four you know that later. volleyball? Did you know that volleyball in our position? Did you know that in our position? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Like fine. The, you see, when you say of course. Yeah, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Margin Margin again. Course. Then I'm gonna go. Bell of truth. Bell <laughs> of truth. <laughs> Fanny Madida. He says, of course, he knew that the volleyball had positions. Name a position in volleyball. I don't have to name the you positions. See? I'm talking about interchanging of that, positions. Uh, 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 uh. I that wanted truth. you to give me one name, Nyana. Tulani, can you name a position? I'm for the minute, I can't name a volleyball. I'm going to be sports about the regular gym. Yay! These people, the volleyball is the only sport that has this. Oh, easy, did it? I'm not in a Maria Spahn. No, okay. So, let, I'll tell you now. Yeah, but I know there's a goalkeeper. No. Ah! Yeah. Okay, no, we're making a ball. We're making a ball. Kutso is a setter. It's yeah. a yes. setter. Setter. Yeah, he's that one. Oh, why is that so? And then, then that other one comes flying in. What is this one called? Okay, man. That's it. It's called. Yeah? It's called a dig. A dig. Yeah. You see, that's mm. digging. Mm. Mm. How about then you dig? <laughs> mm. I agree and then, sharp. And then Hotso sets. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then hey, hey, Karamo hey, hey. attacks, attacks okay. with a spike. Yeah. 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 And then you do. Like, done. Put it down. How much can do and just stay more with two thousand over the spike? No, I, I, know, I, know know the I know the sport. Mm. I know the sport. Shoot the and now, guys, really just, 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 just now that you've qual you've won. You are a Val University of Technology. You've won. Uh, the club championships here in South Africa. What does that qualify you to do? What's next? Um, it qualifies us to go play in Malawi for the Zone 6 tournament, which is a, from Southern African uh, downwards. The Ooh. best mm -hmm. clubs yeah. in yeah. Southern Africa are yes. meeting in Malawi, Meeting together in Malawi, and you're going there? Yes. Mm -hmm. But is it before, the first that, time? before that, we have Usa and Usa Beach, which is Ya yeah, Beach, which, which beach is played by two people on the sand. So... Uh, we're going to USA, which we're going to represent. Our there's team. even beach volleyball. Yeah, yes. there's beach volleyball. Marle, because you're from Val. What beach? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we we bring the beach closer to us. Exactly. We bring it closer to us. No, we have Marle, a beach. How do you even practice? We have a beach court. We have a beach court. There, go yeah. there. Yeah. That's why I'm saying we brought it closer to us. So we have the sand, we have the sand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's the sand court, uh, not the beach court. Oh. 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 O
can't yeah. touch your ass. I'm going to listen. Soon, Ritweza Sports Thomas, we're going to call it dry swimming. <laughs> dry swimming. Dry swimming. <laughs> no water. No water involved, but yeah. then oh, you have to, yeah, you hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so what are the expectations at, especially in Malawi? Mm -hmm. Are you coming back with the trophy? Are you going to be the best club volleyball champion team in the southern part of Africa? She has played there before, so she knows the level. I haven't, so... I okay, say, tell us, what, uh, what can we expect? I will say Zone 6 is, uh, is, is one of the biggest uh, competitions when, as far as clubs are involved. And then we have qualified to go the years. All I can say to you is that we are going to compete. We are not only going to participate there, but compete. Yeah, thanks for showing us the trophy. Thank Keep doing the work that you're doing. We're loving that uh, volleyball program at the Val University of Technology. Really successful. After the break, I'll have a one on one conversation with Fanny Medida, one of the greatest uh, Kaiser Chiefs players of all time. What he has done at Kaiser Chiefs, uh, well, it stands up to. And maybe only Mbesuma can even sit in a conversation and say, I've done what Fani has done. Mbesuma scored 35, Fani scored 34, but Fani scored more in the league than Mbesuma. Mbesuma scored some in the Champions League, Fani didn't have Champions yeah, yeah, League. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, a lot yeah, to discuss yeah. about who was the actual actual. Yeah. That's coming up after this. Don't lose your voice when you need it most. Try Strepsils, a soothing lozenge with germ-killing actives for double the action. Get your speaking, singing, saying, shouting voice back. Okay, stop. Times have changed, and you deserve a juice that's 100% fruit. No added sugar, no preservatives. Because in a world filled with fake, nothing's more precious than real. Buy liquid fruit one liter and stand a chance to win your share of a million random prizes. Teas and seeds apply. Beware the brilliance of Harpic White and Shine. Unlike regular thick bleaches, it also contains baking soda for a blindingly bright and germ free clean. All right. Together we are the soil, the soil, the soil. Baliakosha, Friday the 4th of October at 7.30 on 2. Men and women escaped the repressive hand of the past from this country. Into the sheltered hands of our African brothers and sisters. The advent of democracy opened the door for South Africa to share in the spirit of Ubuntu with the world. As it is said, you cannot know where you are going without knowing where you are from. So, fighting other Africans, we fight ourselves. We are one. We need to live together, love and build one another. Stop the violence. Stop the ignorance. Stop the crime. SABC condemns the xenophobic attacks. Are you ready to rock? I am. Are you? Let's do it. musical experience. Tune into Live Amp every Friday at half for seven right here on SABC One.
born just outside Newcastle, Fanny Madida Didiza, is a man who, uh, well, needs no introduction to Kaiser Chiefs fans, but for the rest of you, 1991, 1992, that season, 34 goals he scored in a Kaiser Chiefs jersey, and they went on to win like a double. Then, when he left with just a couple of other names that left the club, Chiefs then went on to struggle and have like a 12-year drought of silverware. That's how important a man like Fanny Madida was back in those early 90s to Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, Fanny, it's good to have you in the studio now as we talk Kaiser Chiefs and how well they're doing. You're looking at the team right now. Are you impressed? Do you think they're a team that can emulate the feats of your team back in the 90s? I think they will be far from doing this, uh, that one. But Yo, can yes, challenge you. yes, they are doing well at the moment which is uh, very much applaudable because they've been struggling at Marie the Chotanan past five again. My, Weren't you there far from being able to do what you guys did in the 90s? What, what are they short? The, the players then were different from the players now and the, the competition was totally different. What do you mean? You, mean? you had players that were brave. You had players that had, uh, uh, what can I say, they, they had a vision. They, like who? They, they were known, you know, the household names. Like who? Players will, I mean, fans will come to the stadium to watch that particular like player. Like who? Your teenage dad, uh -huh. your Dr. Kumal, mm -hmm. there's a household name, yeah. your ace, uh, uh, Kuse. But some can argue Audrey. that there's Kama Billiard, there's Nurkovic, the... No, no, we're talking about South African players. Kaiser no, but Chiefs, it's like Kaiser time, Chiefs. No, no, they only had South African players. Back then, yes. but times have only, changed. Only a few yeah. from outside. Times have changed. That's why you don't see uh, spectators in the, in, the, in, the, in the stadium. Really? Yes, of course. You think that that local flavor, they, they need to be even, even more of a local flavor in the of team? Of course. Really funny? Of course. Huh? Of course. Let's talk about the season. Your season of 34 goals. It's one where there's a debate. You know, some are like, no, you know, Mbesuma scored 35, Fani scored 34. So, but... When you look at it, you guys had 18 teams in the league back then. It was a little bit more difficult, maybe, in terms of the duration of the season. It was a tremendous season for you. What made you able to score 34 goals in one season for Kaiser Chiefs? I think the, the understanding of, of, of the players at that time. We, we had the, the likes of Dr. Kumaro, the likes of Ace Kuse. They knew exactly where to play a striker mm. because I was always playing as a striker. Very quick. All that I was enjoying was to score goals. Mm. So they knew how to play me, and I was using my strength. Today's players, they are called a, a, a midfield camp striker. Mm. You understand? These terminologies, I was just a striker, out and out striker. You even scored in the final of the Castle Challenge. Of course, what a beautiful. Against? Orlando Pirates. Hey. That's, that's, that's obvious. What a beautiful cross from Dr. Kumalo. Khalagasha. Yeah. <laughs> was it special? <laughs> it was, of course. You look at this picture there, that's special. That is not Orlando Pirates, by the way. Uh, yeah. Oh, when you were in Turkey? Yeah. Were you see, showing off all the jerseys that you used to wear in your playing days? Yeah. Well, I, I made a mark. I tried to, to hoist the South African flag higher. And now, you're wearing that T-shirt. It says Didiza 34. The 34 stands for the 34 goals scored in that very special season. It's a foundation. You've started a foundation. Tell us. Yeah, we started this foundation because we... I'm, I'm, I'm a person that was known in South Africa because of a, a way that was spread by another person, that there is a player from Matida family who is good. And that's, that's how I was uh, marketed. Mm. And I was given an opportunity by a, a stranger. So that's why we, like with the foundation, we're saying, let's go back also to, to the uh, disadvantaged areas mm. and try to unearth the new funny Matidas. You know, but make, the, make, make sure that we shift, we refocus them from the social ills and we, we, we push them to focusing on schools because mm. school and education, they go hand in hand. So and the foundation's the, been there for two years now. Yes. You're doing good work in the communities already. Um, where can you point to? Where can people already say they felt the Deza 34 Foundation? We started in, in Newcastle, as they say, charity begins at home. Your hometown? Yes, at my high school, Seco City High School. Mm -hmm. We went there, we, we talked to the school, we, we asked them what their needs were. So we helped the kids with their fees, you know, for schools. We helped them with the teachers with computers, because they need to be uh, computer savvy. It's a, a fourth industrial revolution now. We also look at the kit that the, the, the kids that we're using at school because they need to play. 
you know, playing is, it, it makes your body to be healthier. I'm loving that you're still involved, you're giving back, you're uh, also a technical advisor at Morocco Swallows. There's so much that you're doing right now, but I need to just go back to this 34 goal question. What do you think? Will we ever see another Fani Medida like performance in PSL football where 34 goals are scored, 28 of them in the league by a footballer? Thomas, it would be very difficult. This afternoon I was watching um, uh, Swallows Football Club playing against uh, TX Galaxy. Uh -huh. You know, uh, there was a, an opportunity, an open chance with the header to be scored by Masina. He missed an open uh, opportunity. So I don't know where the players focus, where do they take their focus when they are in front of the goals. Mm. We are much more composed, you know, because you, ju you just take to, you need to take your breath, breather and then place the ball past the net. So now they put a lot of effort instead of relaxing. Mm. So it will always be difficult. Let me just clarify with the 34 goals, the Suma 35. He scored 31 in all, he scored 26 in the league, then he scored five, in, I mean four in the cup competition. Then he scored in the Champions League 2004 against guess. the team from Madagascar. He scored two away from home and two at home. So that, then they said 35. But it, uh, you don't count like that. You have to count <laughs> domestic clubs. Thank you very much. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the match is done. And it says Fadi Medina is the uh, all-time record holder for the uh, number of goals for Kaiser Chiefs uh, in a single season by that match. My funny. thank you very much for coming in and keep the good work up with the Diza 34 Foundation. Thank you, Thomas. And I may say happy birthday to Mr. Kaiser Chencha Kuluva Mutau. Your former chairman. We're going to a break. After the break, Tulani Mutsweni. You know the actor. Now let's hear from the man. The kids of today, they all want more. They want to be more. For them, more isn't just a word. More is what they do. We want the kids of today to never stop doing more, to reach their great. That's why we've improved Kellogg's, giving kids more vitamins and minerals to help keep them active and alert. Kellogg's, nourish your great. I love to say TV found me. So having started at the SAPC, I was able to find myself and be able to figure out what it is that I really, really enjoy. And it turns out that every single show that I've been on has been somehow aligned to my purpose and to what it is that I love doing. Because you pay your TV license, you make it possible for us to tell your story. Each and every time when they say it's a wrap, it means that I've done something fulfilling in my life. Good morning, Joburg. Are you ready to see something amazing? You? Yes, you, Sissy. Please, won't you come up here for a minute? What have you bought today? Very nice. But what if it gets stained? Ha <laughs> Chocolate. A little bit of wine. Let me add some ink. Now let's really iron those stains uh. in. Should we try bleaching? That's right. The label will tell you you must never use bleach on colors, but vanish is bleach free. It gets rid of the toughest stains and protects colors. With three times more benefits than bleach, vanish won't damage your fabrics. See, vanish has removed the stain. This looks new again. Vanish, three times more effective than bleach. Thank you, Johannesburg. Vanish, trust pink, forget stains. All right. Any short, sharp pain is a sign of something not being quite right with the tooth. And that's usually the first sign of sensitivity. I would definitely say, please don't ignore um, any signs or symptoms. The likelihood is the condition is probably going to get worse if you do nothing about it. That's why um, I recommend Sensodyne in my practice. Sensodyne works at the very heart of the problem. And it actually goes inside the tooth and helps calm down the nerve right where we need it to act. Sensodyne is a brand that I know works.
Kusang sana kan tuwe. Tara pa. Uya, ya sibon ka tong. Kusang sana kan sibi ya. What the hell have you been? Kusang sana. Amat ito. Amat ang suge awa na pa yan. Ang kasya nga pene mong koti. Mga ngayon ako nilukot ito kasya wafa. What happened to our communication? Bote, you're going to keep me updated on it. Why did you attract so much attention to my operation? Why? Yeah? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Hey, you should go to the house. Let me know what I'm going Sibia is the character, Tulani Mtweni is the man, AC Dingo is the show on SABC3. And that's brilliant performances. Ah, thank we, you so we, much, Mama. Thank you so much. We're loving what you're doing on the show. But the first thing I need to ask, yeah. Sibia and that hairstyle, yeah. what, what? Can we see just official, which is that the way it is, Andanje? Or did they... You're not a ninja, but ninja. 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 I've seen makeup. I've seen makeup. I've seen makeup. But you're 32, daughter. I know what exposes you. You're a dog, you're a dog. 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 you Big break, your opportunity. Is it Dingo was the first thing that you decided that gave you the chance? How long did it take you to get in? Well, I'm going to take a kid's game in 2001. Yeah. I'm going to take a kid's game in 2001. I'm going to take a kid's game in 2001. I'm going to take a kid's game in 2001. 17 years. Yeah. I'm going to take a kid's game in 2001. I'm going to take a Satis bati bat, but then 2017 is still some Why not give up to Lani? I mean, 17 years of being told it's not good enough, maybe next time uh, this show is not for you. Yes, we are for it. show now we are via Bessiabona. Ipola, I would like to learn and to learn in alone. Academically, you're right, I got Marangi talent in for it. Yeah. And then now we are usually in Chisagala, you would And you just kept believing in yourself. Yeah, in Jalo and I'm for it. But never a day. There was never a day that said, no, man, nice. Why do you give up? Because we lose a bantu along the way. We know that we have to provide the provider, the Napa, the Kone. And we have to tell you that we have to do it all. So, you are feeling that you are giving up. And you are saying that you are retail shops for two months. You are going to pay for your box. You are going to pay for your box. So, the break that comes, is thing when they say we want you, how does that happen? Well, when you perform a machado top, you are going to go to my body, my space. You are going to go to my dinner in South Africa. You are going to go to my dinner in South Africa. You are going to go to my dinner in South Africa. You are going to go to my dinner in South Africa. Then you go to the audition. Then I figured out I mean, audition. by then you've done a thousand auditions. Mm. Not just for his team. Not Mungie. just for his team. For his team. His team was my first audition ever. For his team. But yeah. then for but other, other shows, shows yeah, I talang buyela, talang buyela ko man. Mara for his team was so nice. Personal in his quiz, bogi first audition. You went in, went in. Casting director bogi ni out about to Russell. So man, he was like, I love you already. I just hope we get our producers now. They will love you too. So that was it. And then now it's two years later. Two years later, Baba, I mean, we are going strong. Nala machita manyege, umakuru mechage, no khata angage, nala baba nyega bafo wetu. I mean, horizon deep. I, I'm trying to even think of what it would be like without uh, usbia here. I mean, usbia. Usbia. I mean, it, 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 you brought so much to the character. Mbonga kuru, Baba, Mara, it's a, it's a group performance. Yabona, when you do your part, nala baba nyenabo. Yeah, but manga bi team is saying that he ought to. Ume suno kuvela. Marakse se kona bo tembele na bo Suarez na bo Bamba. I was reading an interview about you where you said that you want one day to be described as mad, M A D. Yeah. And I was like, wow. Okay, mad. Oklanya. Making a difference. M A D stands for making a difference. That's what you want to do. Yeah, Bamba. Make a difference. Performance wise and otherwise. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say. I like that mad though. M A D. I was gonna say it in Zulu, and then hey, my tongue just went. Menza mechu. U menza mechu. Mara kige shabun. Katanya. I'm here for the hair. Okay, we've got a quick quiz for you. Sports quiz. All right. All right. We have a lali pola ngi. Ingenga lala plus udge ngi had kofi ngi Liverpool. And the Kaiser Chiefs. The Kaiser Chiefs. Okay. All right. So the first question we got from you, we're gonna take you overseas. Hey, Yamaz. 
Mangabe, il passe qu'il pour le bougou à Matimoué pour la Nabé, les outils d'aller là-bas pour nous canner si tu as niqué. So you don't know the Congolese superstar Serge Ibaka. Ah, hi, my African guys. And we had we had his boss on the show at one stage, uh, mm. the uh, Toronto Raptors. But okay, we're gonna forgive you for that one. But yeah. lao, not choice. Yeah, I'm gonna. Ah, pagani, I'm emela. What? Mari, this is the thing about Chiefs fans. Mm. Instantly, was a wonky. Every player here. How come you know? Me da was the sitter sala kumfu. Me da was the sitter sala kotang. Oba sto me nyas na direction. 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 Do you know who he is? Yeah, more than I go up to our figure. So no, was in the Super Saiyan. Yeah. I bet he had two power wins. I was in the Super Saiyan. Was she a banana? But I don't know. Ikama, Oba. Armstrong. There you go. Yeah. Lance Armstrong. Hey, everyone was shocked when they said they discovered the day he was a cheat. Lance yeah. Armstrong. Hmm. You know, from now on, it's the reason why I go past the book. You, you're giving the cupcakes. Yeah, no, no. But he didn't no. get Sergi back. Because he's mad. Oh, making a difference. M A D. Making a difference. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna meet the girl. Gonna need the banner. Final word? Ah, no, no, not not much. I'm just saying happy birthday to that the kids are taung and then yeah, cheaper. Pay how much? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm using Kai. This is just. Yeah, my dude, just a little bit. I want to leave you with the words that we leave you with every single week. Chilani Mutwini, thank you very much for being with us. And remember, if you're not watching Sport at 10, what is it?